Okay, I'll just turn the radio off, sorry about that, I've got the radio on in the background. Um, just a quick look for you through my latest book. Um, this one has got buttons on the front and two like dangly button combination thingies going on on the side. Now on the inside here, I don't normally hide the workings, I quite like to see the workings. It's kind of like, I see it as evidence of the handmade. Um, but I wanted to do a bit of collage on the inside of here with stitched papers and I just put it there just because the button ties were there and not for any particular reason but I think it works well there anyway so that's what that is so you can't see the button ties and this piece this book is more substantial I think than the three I did more recently I'm not sure if they had more pages but they didn't have as much considered work in them in terms of quite a lot of surface embroidery going on um, this one's got silk velvet, cotton cloth and lace, a lot of French knots, a lot of bullion knots, it's got little seed beads in there and it's got this lovely crocheted ball button thing that I bought, I didn't make it, I bought it and that's stitched to the front there and like I say about the workings, you can see here these are ties that pertain to what's going on on this side so you know I'm not really hung up on the workings and like I say I quite like them um, it's got ribbon stitched down French knots there lovely paper collage here and here and under here this is lace with stitched paper French knots up the page and across the page. So there's more intensity to this one, I think. I just, I had so much fun making the last three. I got a bit carried away with this one. And um, this grey graph paper, see look, workings. Okay, don't mind, they're workings. You can't have a handmade book that's got stitch samples in without having stitch invisible, I don't think. And I, uh, that's part of the appeal to me. But here you've got graph paper, which is just normal like printer paper, so you couldn't paint on it with wet paint or anything. Well, you could, but it would just buckle and be horrible. Um, you write notes on there, um, like you could write on there, Karen's left the back of this page like a right dog dinner. She said she doesn't mind, but I don't like it. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, anything you like. Uh, this is just two fabric swatches with some waste canvas with four cross stitches on it and I've left the waste canvas on because I like the texture of that the button at the top of that page because there's a button I'll show you in a minute this one stitched paper again with a bit of torn paper there blue it's blue and white this and um, don't think there's anything going on in here apart from blues shades of blue and grey and white and um, so dark blue paper torn off and put under there just as a contrast and that's that button there because there's buttons going on here so there's one there and then this collage paper here buttons again um, and then this one more paper collage here this one is lace padded applique really lovely soft white cotton this fabric with it's got glass beads stitched onto the fabric so I've extended them so they hang off I've got a bit of a thing for dangly things at the minute in case you haven't noticed now this one, this page was just this stitched paper and again workings up here from the previous page. I did a thread wrap card and more good luck, definitely not good management but then I put this on so it should be like flying about like that and then I thought oh actually that sits in there so that like makes a little pocket for that card. This one, I love this one, I think what I love about this one is I love the velvet, it's my new addiction is silk velvet. But I love the contrast with this blue beady thing going on that's the same as the ones on the spine and these just three little beads tied on there um, buttonhole lace, french knots, bullion knots, french knots um, and then this one there's more grey graph paper there a gimp wrap card that's got a very very basic colour study um, alongside it if you're gonna my next class which is the ledger class in that we do proper proper intense colour studies but this is just a very basic one um, and again stitched papers here it's the texture you know i'm just having a big thing about texture at the moment and then the final page is this little white piece of um, lace cloth so it's cotton scrim 
with silk habitai that's got writing on it that I wrote, but you can't read it because it's distorted. Within the spaces on the scrim, there's a little bit of texture and some French knots. And then these stenciled letters spell out white. That's the W H I T E. Okay. And again, you can see workings from the previous page. And then just to finish it off, some more collaged paper. So that's that one. So I hope you like that little tour through my little book. <laughs>